Where is Voyager 1 right now? Has it managed to deliver the message to other civilizations that is on board? I will tell you what kind of spacecraft it is, how far it has been able to fly from planet Earth, and what signals it is sending now. And most importantly, why the whole world is so closely monitoring its further fate, and what plans scientists have for it in the coming years. What is Voyager 1? But first, let me introduce you a bit. Voyager 1 is a space probe created by NASA's team, which embarked on a journey from Cape Canaveral back in 1977. The mission of this space traveler was to acquaint us closer with Jupiter and Saturn. It was supposed to be in touch for several years, but its capabilities turned out to be much wider than scientists expected. Voyager 1, along with its twin brother Voyager 2, amazed the public, because they not only coped with the task, but also continued their flight much longer than the expected period. More than 40 years have passed since their launch, and they are still on their way, continuing to share valuable information with us. These space travelers have long passed Uranus and Neptune, and even left Pluto behind. Now, when there are no more planets ahead, voyagers are busy exploring the space, which at first glance seems empty. But it is not so because it is filled with the tiniest particles, including atomic nuclei of hydrogen and helium, which the Sun generously scatters throughout the universe, creating solar wind. Structure of the apparatus But what does this probe look like at all? At the time of launch into space, Voyager 1 weighed almost 1763 pounds, of which 190 pounds were accounted for scientific instruments. Its length reached 8.2 feet, and the shape resembled a 10-sided prism with a hole in the center. An impressive 12-foot antenna was attached directly to the body, playing a key role in communicating with the interstellar dust. For operation in distant space, where solar panels would be useless, Voyager 1 is equipped with a trio of radioisotope generators on poles powered by plutonium-238. Their initial thermal power output was 7 kilowatts, providing 470 watts of electrical power. Over time, due to the decreasing activity of plutonium and the wear of components, their efficiency decreases. By 2024, the stock of plutonium had decreased to 69.2% and further reduction of its thermal contribution is expected by 2025. The probe is controlled by three computer systems, which can be reconfigured directly from our world allowing adaptation to new tasks and overcoming unexpected obstacles. However, I wanted to clarify that the control signal to Voyager takes about 18 hours, so there is no talk about rapid maneuvering here. The main role is played by the command computer with two memory blocks and two processors, which can work both together and separately. Data is stored on a magnetic tape with a capacity of up to 536 megabits, allowing to store hundreds of images. For orientation in space, Voyager relies on sensors of the Sun and the star Canopus, as well as on a complex of other sensors and microengines, allowing precise adjustment of its position and flight trajectory. The probe has two antennas for communication with Earth, operating in the S and X bands, providing data transmissions over long distances. But enough of the technical component. So I'm moving on to the most interesting part. Golden Record did you know that there is a letter for aliens on board Voyager? Yes, I'm not kidding! NASA themselves decided to make contact if someone encounters the probe wandering in space. The gold-plated record attached to Voyager's body is one of the most famous artifacts sent by humanity into space. This record, known as the Voyager Golden Record, is a message to potential extraterrestrial civilizations and contains diverse information about Earth and its inhabitants. The disk contains greetings in 55 languages, including ancient languages, such as Akkadian, and modern ones, such as English. These greetings aim to demonstrate the linguistic diversity of our planet. In addition, the disk contains a rich collection of musical works, including both classical music, such as the works of Bach and Beethoven, and traditional melodies and songs from various cultures of the world. Recordings of nature sounds, such as the sound of wind, bird singing, thunder, and others, are also included to give an idea of the sound landscape of Earth. The visual part of the message covers a wide range of images, from photographs of people of different ages and nationalities, 
to images of architectural structures, cars and airplanes, scientific achievements, and everyday life. All these materials are intended to provide a possible representation of human civilization and the biosphere of Earth. Although the idea that the Voyager Golden Record can be discovered by extraterrestrial intelligence is rather symbolic, it also emphasizes humanity's desire to establish contact and exchange cultural and scientific heritage with potential extraterrestrial civilizations. What equipment does it have? But Voyager is not lacking in research equipment. The spacecraft is equipped with various scientific instruments, including television cameras with wide-angle and telephoto lenses for capturing images of space objects, an infrared spectrometer for studying the energy balance and composition of planet atmospheres and their moons, and an ultraviolet spectrometer for analyzing the upper layers of atmospheres and interplanetary space. But that's not all! Scientists have equipped the probe with a photopolarimeter to study atmospheric aerosols and satellite surfaces, and with interplanetary plasma detectors to study plasma phenomena in magnetospheres and solar winds. The spacecraft also has magnetometers for measuring magnetic fields and a specialized receiver for detecting radio emissions from planets, the Sun and stars using two long antennas. Most of these instruments are mounted on a special boom, while some are on a rotating platform, providing comprehensive study of the space environment and distant cosmic bodies. But now, half of the equipment is intentionally turned off. Why? I'll tell you a little later. How fast does the probe move? In addition to its research functionality, Voyager also sets speed records. On February 17, 1998, the spacecraft reached an important milestone in space exploration, surpassing Pioneer 10 and becoming the farthest human-made object from Earth. At that time, Voyager 1 was at a distance of 69,419 astronomical units from the Sun, roughly equivalent to 6.5 billion miles. This fact underscores the significant achievements of the Voyager space program, which began in the 1970s. By the end of 2017, Voyager 1 remained the fastest spacecraft leaving the solar system. Despite the fact that the New Horizons spacecraft, launched to Pluto in 2006, had a higher initial speed, the gravitational maneuvers performed by the Voyagers allowed them to move faster in deep space. Interestingly, due to Earth's orbital motion, which is about 18.6 miles per second, the distance between Voyager 1 and Earth can decrease at certain times of the year. This is because Earth moves towards Voyager 1 during these periods, reducing the distance between them even as the spacecraft continues to move away from the Sun. Not bad, huh? But what about scientific discoveries and achievements? What have they been able to discover thanks to Voyager 1? Voyager 1 was launched into space in September 1977. It embarked on an incredible journey, flying past Jupiter in 1979 and Saturn in 1980, before reaching the heliopause in August 2012, the boundary separating our solar system from interstellar space. This moment marked a significant milestone, as Voyager 1 began its journey into uncharted territories of interstellar space traveling at speeds exceeding 38,000 miles per hour. What lay beyond was unknown until then. Upon entering interstellar space, the spacecraft encountered a thin vacuum, where disturbances occasionally occurred due to solar activity. However, between these disturbances, scientists discovered a stable environment, resembling a gentle rain, rarely disrupted by more powerful storms of solar flares. Voyager 1 played a key role in studying Jupiter and Saturn, providing invaluable data about their atmospheres, moons, and rings, significantly expanding our understanding of the processes involved in the formation and evolution of planetary systems. Analysis of data sent by Voyager 1 revealed that interstellar gas was less active than previously thought, allowing scientists to better understand the distribution of plasma in interstellar space, especially during periods of solar inactivity. These discoveries enabled the first estimation of changes in interstellar space density beyond our solar system and improved understanding of the interaction between interstellar medium and solar wind, as well as the processes involved in the formation and alteration of the heliosphere, the protective bubble surrounding the solar system. How far was Voyager 1 been able to fly? So how far has the space probe traveled? Although many media outlets claimed that the Voyager 1 spacecraft had already left the boundaries of our solar system, 
In reality, this is not entirely true. NASA experts clearly state that even if the Voyagers continue to function for many years to come, they still will not be able to leave the boundaries of the solar system. And even in theory, assuming infinite operability of these probes, they would still have to overcome about 30,000 light years to reach the edge. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 has already traveled an incredibly long distance. In August 2012, it reached the edge of the heliosphere, an extensive region around the Sun dominated by solar wind. The boundary of the heliosphere, it turned out, is located at a distance of 11 billion miles from the Sun. In 2018, it was officially confirmed that Voyager 2 also crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space, the area that stretches between stellar bubbles. In November 2019, the journal Nature Astronomy published several studies based on data obtained from the Voyagers about interstellar space. These were the first such observations, and they were completely unexpected. In 2021, NASA reported that Voyager detected the first interstellar sounds, and the following year, the spacecraft began transmitting mysterious signals. It is confirmed that Voyager 1 is still operational. I'll tell you more about that later. As of now, Voyager 1 is at a distance of 161.2 astronomical units from Earth, which is approximately 15 billion miles. Sounds like something very distant, doesn't it? Signals So, what signals were received from the Voyagers? How did they sound? Despite the myriad of conspiracy theories surrounding them, let's try to break it down. In 2021, both Voyager spacecraft sent back unusual signals to Earth, which sparked significant interest among scientists. There are several reasonable theories regarding their origin. Some speculate that the recorded hum is the sound of interstellar matter, while others attribute it to noise caused by powerful solar flares. There is also a hypothesis that the space beyond the solar system resembles soap bubbles, and the probes picked up the movement of particles within this foam. This discovery was so unexpected that astrophysicist Stella Ocker from Cornell University suggested that these sounds could be used to measure the density and movement of plasma in interstellar space. The Voyagers helped us better understand the boundaries separating the solar system and interstellar space, marking a kind of shoreline between them. In early 2022, researchers made another important discovery. It turns out that the spacecraft sent beyond the solar system are closer to Earth than previously thought. This is due to the trajectory of the Voyager's flight, which follows a spiral path influenced by forces within the solar system. Sometimes they align with Earth, allowing the transmission modules on the probes and NASA antennas on Earth to synchronize for data exchange. The Voyagers also provided information about a plasma bombardment that occurred on the night of March 31, 2022, triggering a geomagnetic storm with a magnitude of 7. This event was one of the most powerful of its kind in recent years, affecting meteorologically sensitive people and those with chronic conditions. These discoveries underscore the importance of Earth's protective layer and only hint at what might exist in interstellar space. What fate awaits Voyager 1? Now, I must tell you about the fate of Voyager 1. Communication with it is not lost. In fact, Relatively recently, all four trajectory correction maneuver engines of Voyager were launched. This happened for the first time since 1980. These engines were activated to compensate for the malfunctioning reaction engines, allowing the trajectory correction of the probe to continue. This once again proves that scientists have even bigger plans for the spacecraft. However, over time, due to the decrease in available power, the NASA team has faced the need to gradually deactivate some instruments on board Voyager. About half of the equipment has already been turned off, but important research tools, such as the cosmic ray subsystem, magnetometer, plasma wave system, and low-energy charged particle detection system are still operational. It is planned that in the future, data recording operations and gyroscopic operations will be discontinued, which is a consequence of further decline in available power. Specialists predict that by 2025-2036, the probe will exhaust its energy resources entirely, and none of the instruments will be available to function normally. After 2036, Voyager will be beyond the reach of the deep space network, making further communication with the spacecraft impossible. Sad, but everything in our world isn't eternal. Will this be the end of its story forever? Who knows?
Perhaps the golden record on board will eventually find its recipient, and Voyager will return to Earth. And that's all for now. If you want more videos on this topic, subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.